Hey guys, what is up? So, I'm going to try something a little different today. I'm going to try to explain. Explain a script. Which, I'm not good at explaining, so that's why all my other videos have just been speed up little, sped up little videos. Uh, but, yeah, I'm going to try to explain this. So, I guess for my first explaining tutorial, uh, we should start off with something simple. So, let's just make a simple toggle script so we're just gonna do a simple toggle run script so just go ahead and insert a local script into starter GUI and let's just start with this it's gonna wait for the player all right now we're gonna make a couple variables here quick All right, so we got some variables. Now we can start scripting. So basically, we got um, the player, the humanoid. Uh, we got the mouse, because so we're just gonna make a toggle function. So when I hit R, it's just gonna, you know, toggle run, <laughs> I guess. And then we got the toggle here. This is the main thing you need this is also known as like a debounce I guess but you can use it for toggles uh, I guess I can show you how to use it as a debounce too like so you don't spam a script that's a pretty easy uh, tutorial I guess so I could probably do that quick times but yeah let's get to the scripting so to make this so a toggle is pretty easy so you just want to start with your function all right so we got a, our function now we're going to make the toggle so I guess we're going to make the run key R because that kind of makes sense R for running um, it's in a pretty pretty easy spot I know a lot of people use shift control uh, I'm just going to use R it's also a lot easier to uh, just use normal like key codes If you know what I mean, <laughs> I don't really know. <sighs> but anyways, we're just gonna use R. <laughs> so if key equals equals R, then. So basically, so if R is down, then whatever happens here is gonna happen. So right now we're gonna make the toggle. So if toggle equals equals false then because toggle is false up here so right here is where you want to put your first like your first bit of code so this is where we would put um our run code so I'd put a humanoid dot walk speed equals hu oops, humanoid dot walk speed Let's just do times two. Now we're gonna do um, the other toggle. So like, you know, the toggle. <laughs> Anyways, else if. Oh, I also forgot one more thing. You also have to put this toggle equals true. else if toggle equals true then oh what else if toggle true also toggle equals true or equals equals true hey just can't even talk can't even script anyways else if toggle equals equals true then humanoid dot walk speed equals humanoid dot walk speed divided by two and then we're gonna do toggle equals false and then an end so I'm fairly certain this should work it should be 
this should anyways let's see if it works so we're walking R R R R R R seems to work I wish I could put like a thing to show <laughs> I'm actually pressing it but yeah so that's kind of how you make a toggle it's really really easy you just have to have a single variable and then two if statements really I guess I can show you how to make a debounce too so oops let's just do let's just add a part yeah, let's just make a part. Sir, a script. Now, where are you, Mr. Script? Now, we're just going to do script dot parent dot touch colon connect. Whoops. Whoops. Function hit. So, I don't know if hit dot parent equals equals. Oh. No, we'll just do. And we'll just we'll just print. Touched. We'll just do that. For now, so if you can see in this little outpost here, well, the output here, not outpost. What am I saying? Output here. Um, every time we move, every time we like, it goes up by a lot. You just move around. You can see because every time we're touching it, like it prints touched. Um, now that's not good. Say if you wanted a sword and you only wanted it to do 10 damage. Now if you set the damage to 10 and didn't have a debounce on it and were to swing at this Dark Panther, then it would do a lot more than 10 damage because it would hit multiple, multiple times. As you can see, if I go to test, just run quick with the toggle we made. I'm like, you barely move. See, like, I'm not even moving. And look at how much it goes up by. So to fix that, what you can do is go to script. You can just add a variable. Debalance equals false. Then you just do if debounce equals equals false, then then you would put your code here. Put an end statement. And then you do wait. Oh wait, I forgot one thing. Probably the most important thing about the debounce. Um, don't need that end. You want the debounce to equals true. And then you wait however long you want the debounce to be. So let's just say we want it to be five seconds. So we want it to print touched every five seconds that uh, we touched it, you know. And then you do debounce equals false, not equals minus false, equals false. Uh, so debounce equals false. So, oh, whoops. So if the part is touched, I don't think we need this, but whatever. So if the part is touched, then um, if debounce equals false, which it already, oops, which it already is false, then debounce equals true, and then this is your code here, so print touched, and then you wait for however long, 
and then debounce equals false again. So that way it won't spam the coding. Like it won't spam the same script I mean, sorry. So if we go to test and play, and go to that same block, you see in the output, it says touched, and we wait five seconds, I'm still touching it. There we go, touch times two, wait another five seconds, touch times three. So that's how you do debounces, and that's how you do a toggle script. So if you learned anything, I don't know, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, see you guys later. Peace out.